Welcome back ladies and gents, today I'm going to show you how to play the song Millions by Between the Buried and Me. Before we get started, be sure to get yourself in tune, the tuning is in the description down below. If you want tabs in PDF format, you can find those over at my Patreon page. So let's get ourselves in tune and let's get started. Starting off with riff one, which is the clean verse riff. So here we have two ways that we can play this. One way is by using our middle and ring finger on the D and G string third fret, adding, of course, our index finger to two and our pinky to four. <laughs> or you can bar the D and G string with your middle finger entirely, as I'm doing here, and adding your ring finger instead on the four. That gives you your pinky the chance to be able to play the fifth fret right there on the low E for the second chord variation. However, I can't really sustain this shape uh, comfortably. So if you can do that and you have really flexible fingers, I would suggest doing that, right? It makes it easier to play the chord progressions or you can just kind of just use each finger for every note. And for the second chord shape, we're shifting our index finger to D and G string, barring the third fret, adding our middle finger to four on the A and with our uh, ring finger on the fifth fret, low E. So right here we have a variation on the verse riff. So we're starting off with our middle and ring finger on the low E and A string four, then barring with our index finger D and G string three. And from there we're going to shift our fingers around for the different chords. So right there we are shifting from our ring finger to our middle finger on the four on the A and adding our pinky to the six. Then we're gonna shift from our pinky to fifth fret on the low E string with our ring finger. And then the familiar chord from the first verse riff. So before getting into the heavy section of the song, we have kind of a pre jump starting riff. So right there, it's very simple. We have two on the low E, we're string skipping the A string and we're alternating between two and three on the D and G string. Then we have a alternate picking palm muting uh, pattern right on the low E. And right at the end, we have one on the low E. So in this riff, we're starting off on the one on the low E string, palm muting and then bending quarter band on two. We have the three on the G string bouncing back to two and repeat, we repeat that twice. And with the fourth time, instead of bending, we're sliding from two to five, playing eight on the D with our pinky and then quarter note bend on the five and then repeat. So 
So in this riff we have a little bit of stretch, it's not too intense. We're starting off on the low E4 and then 8 with our pinky on the D string. So we're constantly alternating between notes on the low E string and the 8. So that's the 4, 6 and the 5 on the low E. We have two notes at a time and sliding right in between each note. Also, aside from the sliding, we also have sustaining the eighth note on the D string, letting it ring out with the low E strings. And right here, it's pretty self-explanatory. We have the quarter note bent on the two. Alternate, alternating along with the G string three and then you repeat. And then you proceed again to repeating those two parts. So right before we get to the third heavy riff, we have again kind of the jump start riff we handled at the beginning. So now we're at the, I guess you'd call the pre-chorus riff. It's a really cool section. Uh, so we're starting off on the low E string, six and the nine on the D. Palm mute on the open note, hammer on six to five on the low E. Palm mute open note again, nine on the D. Again, palm mute on the low E. Then we have, right here, we have 9 and 11. We're not playing the middle string, A string. And then you repeat the same riff again. And right there, we have variation. All right, so right there, we have 7, 9 on the A string and G. We're not playing the D string in the middle. That's twice, and then four times on the five and seven. And there we have a slight small little run, which is pulling off from seven to six on the G, and with our pinky onto nine and ring finger eight on the D string. And then you repeat. So right there, we repeat at the last, right before we get to the chorus, the last section of that riff, we repeat nine to 11, five times, one, two, three, four, five, and then we play open note, zero alternate picking. And then we have the uh, really cool uh, chorus riff. Is it the chorus? I guess it's the chorus, unless the leads is also part of the chorus. Anyway, so right here, pay attention to the power chords. It's just power chords, it's pretty simple stuff, really fun to play. So we have right here a seven to nine, right? Everything we're playing is on the low E and A string. Now I'm using my index finger and pinky because we're shifting our index finger constantly one fretboard below, which means we're stretching a little bit. If you were to do it like this, it would be a little uncomfortable to have to continuously do that stretch. So use your pinky for the A string. So the chords are 7-9, 6-9, 3-5, 4-5, 6-5, 7-9, 8-9, 10-9, 11-9, 12-9, 13-9, 14-9, 15-9, 16-9, 17-9, 18-9, 19-9, 20-9, 21-9, 22-9, 23-9, 24-9, 25-9, 26-9, 27-9, 28-9, 29-9, 30-9, 31-9, 32-9, 33-9, 34-9, 35-9, 36-9, 37-9, 38-9, 39-9, 40-9, 41-9, 42-9, 43-9, 
run. And then in the second run, we have variation. We go up to 10, 12, 9, 12, and then 6, 9. And the way you want to count this is very simple. Take a look. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's the amount of times you have to play each power chord. In case it might be confusing in the beginning, once you count it the first few times, it becomes second nature. So, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then for the uh, second variation, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. All right, so if you count it that way in the beginning, you'll catch it immediately and then it will become second nature. Let's move on to the leads. So right here, uh, make sure you have a little bit of delay and reverb for your leads. And we're starting on the G string, 18, 19, 18. So the first section we're gonna look at is this one. So right here, we're starting off on the 18, bouncing to 19, 18, 16, then vibrato on the 18. We're starting back on the 16, Go to 18, 19, 18, 16. Then we're going to slide into the B string 19, play 17. Then we play 18, 19 on the G string. And then we repeat. We're only repeating, of course, the first little section right there and then we're going back to 16 vibrato and then we're going on to the D string playing 19 17 16 19 on the A 16 on the D and then 19 17 16 and then you repeat the whole thing Thanks a lot for watching everyone. I'd like to give a special shout out to Jack Grover Guitar and Juan David Castellanos for supporting me on Patreon. You guys are the absolute best. If you did enjoy this guitar lesson, be sure to shred that like button to bits. If you want to stick around for more, be sure to subscribe. I will see you all again in the next video. Peace out.